Hi, this is Gabe Genway from Ironclad Cairo, and today I will be going over how to make sci-fi props or steampunk props using water bottles. Okay, when you use a bottle for a steampunk or sci-fi prop, pretty much any bottle can be chosen, as long as it's plastic, preferably. And, as you can see through these, many things can be crafted with bottles. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, what tools you might need to actually make bottles like these or make something even better. The first thing what you want to do is you want to remove the plastic label from the package. Don't worry about it, it might tear sometimes. You can also use a heat gun, but in our case our heat gun is indisposed right now. So we're going to show you a different way how to remove the extra gunk off of there. So. Move the plastic off from first. Sometimes with the heat gun you can actually damage the plastic and it'll cause it to warp or melt. So this could be a safer way. Um, you just have to make sure you use proper protection. Alright, so I got some low odor paint thinner you can buy from your hobby store or you can probably use metal spirits. Uh, to remove off the uh, the glue and the excess wrapping on the the bottle. And I'm just going to go about doing this. It takes a little while to do it, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Alright, now I've got the bottle all cleaned up. Uh, the second thing I would advise you doing is since this is a bottle um, that had liquid inside of it, uh, to clean it out, just use warm soap and water, shake it up, clean it out, let it dry. Alright, I've cleaned the bottle out. Um, now some of y'all might be wondering, okay, why, why do I use bottles? Uh, to create uh, these sci-fi or steampunk props. Um, they have several unique shapes that are molded on the uh, on the bottle. I'm not sure if that's a, a packaging thing, uh, if it keeps it from crushing, but I've always found a whole bunch of different unique looks on the outside of the bottles. So some of them have the shapes like this. Um, I think it's a vitamin water bottle. This is a Hawaiian punch bottle. It's flat. Uh, this is a, um, I think a, a Powerade bottle? I don't know. Um, it might have been another, maybe a Gatorade bottle. Usually the Gatorades have like little lightning bolts on them. So, I use them for, uh, for just about anything. Um, I'm making uh, grenade canisters for them. I uh, I made one to go on my gun. I'm gonna get that real quick to show. All right, so here's a picture of the gun. Right there in the center is two connected halves of bottles. What I did was I just uh, connected uh, two bottles together on the lower half. So what you see, in a sense, that half times two on that to get that look. And this is one of the grenade canisters. You can even like mount uh, two tips together to create uh, like another canister. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, we toyed around with the thought of making binoculars, scopes, um, uh, steam canisters. Uh, don't also, I mean, also on there you also have the actual bottle caps. The bottle caps can be used for several good things. Uh, on the gun, if you notice right above the canister, right here, that's a Coca-Cola bottle cap. Over here, in the front, in the back, and the side right here, these are, um, I think, vitamin water bottle caps. Uh, that's some other bottle cap that I got. That's a water bottle cap right there, water bottle cap right there. Um, 
even on this other gun that I'm working on right here, bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap. And this is just uh, this tubing right here that you see on, on the guns, that's irrigational tubing. Um, you can find uh, that from your hardware store. Uh, it's pretty solid at first. You have to take uh, a heat source to make it malleable for you to flex it. It does not react well with spray paint, but I use rub and buff on top of that to create, uh, to uh, get off the, the adhesion from it. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and spray paint this. Pretty much like I did in the, in the previous videos. I had one of my uh, other people in my group who was spray painting their gun. And uh, he was starting to show some cracks in his, in the painting. Well, right now the humidity out here is pretty good. So, I'm going to do a nice little light coat. Let it dry. Second coat now. Two coats should be more than enough. It's not like uh, you want to drink this down and paint. Since the other bottle is uh, only one of that type, I'm going to use two of the same bottles to uh, create a steampunk grenade. These two are identical. So I'm going to create what I made over here earlier. It is one of these. I'm just going to show you how I did it. I got a, a coping saw over here. I'm just going to go ahead and just cut these things in half. You just want to take your time when you do this because you're dealing with a sharp object after all. I'm going to cut it right here. This is like a, a midpoint that you want to use. So. As I'm cutting it, as I'm cutting it, I'm turning the bottle a little bit after a few good saws. You can use a Dremel for this as well. Um, I'm just going to show you how I do it with a coping saw. That's how I started off. Dremels, I can use a Dremel, but they're a little loud. Because you're cutting for this plastic. But you can use um, a nice little diamond bit a cutting wheel for it. Or maybe even a grinding wheel for it. So, there you go. I've got my water world drinking cup right here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to do that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bottom of this right here to make the lid for it. And when I get that together 
I'm going to go ahead and glue these down together using hot glue. So, what I'm going to do is just uh, cut to the chase with it and uh, show you right there. What, what I do when I actually work with hot glue.